Hey, this is Dark Hound 8, finally coming out with the much anticipated zombie survival guide number 10. This um, weapons part 3 will be more geared towards weapons that are bad to use as opposed to my previous weapons videos that pertain to weapons that would be good to use. Now, um, I could go on and on for literally days about everything that would be not good to use against zombies, but, um, there's just not enough time in the world um so i'm just gonna go with um the ones that are most suggested and most show up in zombie movies and i, I don't know why they ever are suggested to me because they don't work they, they they're horrible and i don't know why anyone would waste my time by suggesting weapons that just don't work at all um so a few of them are uh well the first one that i could think of was uh, a screwdriver it's uh small it's close range i mean if you get him in the temple if you're sneaking up behind him i suppose that would work but i wouldn't bet my life on it um sledgehammers these are used a lot in zombie movies and video games and they aren't good at all. They're too big, too heavy. They just don't work. They're t they're just too constricting. They're they're big. They're heavy. They're inaccurate. It's and they're only good for one zombie at a time. Um, the same uh, basic drawbacks would be the same for the sledgehammer as they would for. A large wood chopping axe. Um, a smaller hatchet would be better, but still too close range. Um, uh, large caliber rifles, as opposed to many people who think that the higher caliber the better it is for killing zombies, it's quite the opposite actually. Um, any caliber bullet can kill zombies as long as they can go through a skull. And the 50 caliber bullet, it's it's loud. It's it's just not worth carrying a large rifle to fire a 50 caliber bullet at a zombie. It's not worth it. I mean, if you have a 50 caliber sniper rifle that you could set somewhere and pick off a few zombies at a distance, by all means. But I mean, a small caliber hunting rifle would be a lot more effective. Uh, a hammer, uh, just normal nail driving hammer. It's um not good. Same basic drawbacks drawbacks as a small hatchet. It um it's too close range. It's really only good for one zombie at a time. You probably have to sneak up on said zombie to get a kill shot without getting infected. Um, a knife of any kind. Um, any blade really, uh, besides like a machete or a katana, just any kind of knife besides maybe a bowie knife, but besides that I wouldn't go with any kind of knife. It's too close range, there's a high risk of infection and it's just not good. Um, a Gatling gun, a large mounted machine gun of any kind it's loud it's going to spray bullets everywhere and it's probably not going to hit them in the head unless you have some kind of sniper scope that you put on a gatling gun and it makes it magically more accurate then i wouldn't go for it um an rpg or any kind of missile launcher sure it martyr the zombies and they probably wouldn't be able to walk but they can still kill you and eat you, and you will turn into a zombie. Not good. Um, same thing with any kind of landmine or grenade. It's just not going to work. Any kind of explosive is in vain, really. Uh, fire of any kind. It's It'll take way too long to destroy the brain, and it's not worth having a flaming zombie running at you for days before its before its skull heats up so much that it literally boils the brain. But before that, it's just 
not worth it. So any kind of Molotov cocktail or flamethrower isn't the best weapon against a zombie at all. Um, hedge trimmers. These were actually suggested to me by a few people, mostly after the movie Zombieland came out. Now, I'm not ragging on the person that sent me this message because it was a good question, but it's just not a good weapon. I would never, ever go for hedge trimmers. They, they rely way too much on the user's own strength, and it doesn't let gravity do enough of the work. Really, it's just not enough bang for your buck. Not worth carrying. Um, any kind of shotgun, mostly double barreled. My God, double barreled. Um, the, the only kind of shotgun that I would ever, ever use in the zombie apocalypse would be a military combat shotgun with a clip. That's it. Or the AA-12, of course, but uh, not on fully automatic because that would be a waste. And I wouldn't do it ever because that would be stupid. Um, brass knuckles. Now, I mean, if you can, if you have them on, and they're not going to constrict you from shooting zombies or hitting them with baseball bats or whatever kind of weapon you have on you, then you can wear them just in case you do need to hit a zombie in the face. But besides that, I wouldn't go for it. I mean, they shouldn't be used as any kind of primary weapon. And same thing with a hammer. It'd be good for a secondary weapon, just not for a primary weapon. Um, any kind of revolver. Mostly the 357 Magnum. That's a crowd pleaser in zombie movies because it's fun to watch some cowboy shoot a zombie in the head with a 357 Magnum. But come on, it's... That thing can break your wrist shooting it if you're inexperienced. And any kind of revolver, it's only good for six shots. I mean, if you use it as an ankle gun, fine. That, like, if you ran out of ammo and you just need to kill one last zombie. Besides that, I wouldn't go for it. Um, a stick. Not, not a good weapon. Enough said. Um, uh, you can't suffocate a zombie. You can't poison a zombie. You can't burn a zombie to death. You can't drown a zombie. There's just so many can'ts. And as any zombie enthusiast knows, there's only one way to kill a zombie. Headshot. Um, uh, that's about all I can think of as far as bad weapons goes. Uh, if anyone has any other day ideas for crap weapons that you should never use against zombies ever, then please leave a comment in the box. Don't forget to sit. I fail at talking. Don't forget to subscribe and comment and rate. This is Darkhound8 signing off.